Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we're going to continue discuss Q5 class. In previous video, we have demonstrated how to use a Q5 class to read a text file. In this short video, we're going to demonstrate how to use a Q5 class to decoding a binary file. We are going to continue to use previous videos example. In previous video, we have uh, put uh, the text file in this line editor. We add a new but push button called open text. So when we click open text, uh, we open the, using Q file to open the text file and display the content inside this plain text editor. Today, we are going to add a new button. And the, the example, binary example we are going to use is a PDF file. So we are going to decode in the PDF file to get the version of PDF. So we call this button called the check PDF. So what we do today, we're going to put the PDF file name in this line editor and click this button and try to decode in the PDF file to get the PDF version display in this plain text editor. So to start, we just right click on this button. We just go to slot and select click, click OK. Then we start on push button 3, clicked. So in order to save typing time, we just make a copy paste from previous when we were reading the text file. So, so what we are going to do, we are going to clear the text plan text editor. We are going to clear the status bar message. Uh, we get the file name from the line editor and uh, we instantialize the Q file object called my file and uh, check if a file exists then we do something if a file not exists we are going to show the message and this time we can PDF PDF file not does not exist and uh, so if a file exists first we still open file for read only and uh, we still, if able to open, we still make a loop till until the file at the end. We make a loop to read this file, and after that, we close the file. The difference is the last preview video when we read a text file, we use the method called the read line, but in the binary file, there's no line. It's only the byte. So what we first to do, we have to change this. But before we change this, we have to declare few things. We have to declare chair array called M by four by four. Uh, we can give a size. I give a one twelve five twelve. And so it means that each time we read, we read five twelve byte. And uh, we need to clear another area. We call the PDF version. We give the byte 32. So we need to clear. We also have to clear uh, integer i. So this. So right now, before we say, we have to change this read line. So because it's a binary file. I have to use another method to read. So it's my read. I'm going to use a read method. So this method, we need two parameters. First is called, a, I put this m by four. After read file, we read into this memory, we just declare. And the second parameter, how many bytes? So size, five. Buffer, so the buffer size. So if we read this. So after, before we do this, we have to do something. We call the 
I have to set reset initialize the memory. So I'm buffer. Usually before we set up, we set up buffer with slash zero. And we set up size UF. I'm buffer and uh, usually we also plus one because uh, even we declare the 512 side of this chair buffer there's another byte called the end of this uh, chair array so we have to reset up usually when we set up memory we, for the size uf and buffer we plus one so we still we also need to set up this as a pdf Version and with the same thing slash zero and the size plus one. So now we read it. 512, 512 byte into this buffer and we got to start decoding. So how to decoding? We have to reference our reference file. The file for the reference, we call the PDF reference file, which is downloadable from the internet. And this file discussed the whole structure of the PDF file, which we can decode how to locate the object, page, whatever is something so but uh, for this video we're going to say it goes to line page 61 so page 61 discussed the file structure which is the pdf file structure so what's the pdf structure is the first is a, has a header and after that is a body after the body there's a part called the cross reference table and uh, which give all the offset of the object in this body which make you available random read each object and that's the trailer so today we are going to decoding only the header so here page 63 talking about the header so what's the header the first line of a pdf file is a header identify the version of the pdf specification to which the file conforms for a file conforming to the pdf version 1.4 the header should be like a percentage pdf dash 1.4 like this kind of thing. so for other version like a starting the percentage pdf dash 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 1 so today's example the demonstration we just decoding this part so it means so it means uh, for the first line of that and buffer is the header so among this 512 byte we read into the memory how to identify first line so I pick up the you know the PDF of binary to read that so if you look at this one so this is the beginning of the pdf file so come to certain each each two is two is a byte and come to this this come to a certain point this byte is the value is 0a so what 0a means in arch table in arch table the 0a means line fit it means it's end of line so what that means if we starting from beginning we find the first uh, byte of value is 3a and all this line part is the first line so okay so this is uh, what we're going to do so we're going to start uh, from i equals zero and we make a loop while I'm buffer number i byte if number i is not equal 
which is 0a, so 0x, 0a, then we got i plus 1. So when we finish the So when we finish this loop, it means the number i byte is the end of line. So after that, we're going to memcpy, make a memory copy, copy to PDF version, and we're going to copy m buffer. How many bytes we copy? We copy i byte because we found the and after we copy to this PDF and then we can append it into our plan text editor box. So call the Q Q string which what we got PDF version. So we convert it to Q string and append it to the plain text box. And after we got the PDF version, in this example, we don't need a read anymore. So we break and then we close the file. So now we can go build. Okay, so now we got the build, and uh, let's go to Linux, and uh, so let's let's go to RS manual. So they say we build our binary here because uh, we only build for debug, so we go to the debug directory, which is run. So we got our dialog. So we start from the, our home directory. I have two example PDF file which I have downloaded from the internet. So let's say first one, we copy and we paste here. And we click a check PDF file. So we got all oh, this one, the PDF version is 1.5. Let's go to home directory again. Let's check another PDF file. Otherwise, uh, 1.4 version. So this way we can decoding a PDF. Uh, hello, this is uh, Hui. Thanks for watching my video. Hopeful it's enjoyable and uh, useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.